hoping and praying that God would meet a physical need for healing. And I overlooked something that I had been experiencing in my lower back. I just recently had a bone density test and it confirmed that I have osteoporosis. I look very strong. I look in the mirror and I don't see any osteoporosis, but my back, every morning, I felt like I was going to break in half. And I overlooked that need. I was focused on what I thought God should do, but God healed my back. I don't have the pain in the morning. Last night I was having some severe chest pain when I got here, and now it's pretty bad. Let, let, let me hold it for you. Yeah. Pretty badly. Um, pastor prayed for me, and thank you. And the pain went away, and I went through the whole night and slept actually. And, uh, Come on, people! I got up this morning and I didn't fall or stagger or run into anything, which is a first for me. Uh, three months ago, I broke my shoulder. Uh, it was horrible, a very bad break, and um, I was on very uh, strong painkillers, and I could barely move my arm away from my body six inches. And I came Friday night. I had never been to this kind of a meeting before in my Christian walk, and Pastor walked up to me and <laughs> told me what was wrong with me and uh, asked me to come up for prayer, and I was so blown away because there's no way he could have known. I've never met him before. <laughs> so uh, I came up, he prayed over me, and my pain has been gone since. Uh, incredible. I, I can praise the Lord again. Oh, look, at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. When she came, how, how, how far she could lift that? She could only lift that much when she came. And if the Lord touched her, come on, people, give the Lord a clap. Hi, guys. Um, I was here yesterday, and um, Pastor Rambo actually specifically called somebody who had asthma in this section. And I actually forgot about it because it's something I learned to live with for the longest time. I've been, I wouldn't say born with it, but I've had it since as long as I can remember, right? And so everybody else kind of looked at me first, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> anyway, and so Pastor prayed for me. And it's just, it was so different to kind of like taking such a deep breath of air without needing to cough or to breathe. I didn't even know how much I could breathe in, you know. And like even this morning before church, right, um, I decided to try and do some like burpees in the washroom, do some mountain climbers, and to see like, to really test out my endurance, right? And um, it was just so different, feeling tired because your muscles can't take it rather than needing to catch a breath. <laughs> and so even not only that, Pastor, but you also prophesied acceleration. And you gave me a word of knowledge when you said that oh, it won't hold me back anymore. But you didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know that. I actually, I even went to school late because I was always sick. That also held me back. You don't know the amount of times I was in the hospital because, and I had to miss classes because I was sick from asthma. You didn't know about the times when my dad would rush home from work and he would see me at home and I was kind of turning blue because I couldn't get air to breathe. And my mom is here and she can testify to that. But, oh, I can't, I know I can't. I'm really shy and I, I'm not good with public speaking, <laughs> but I can't just sit there and not give my God the glory. <laughs> Somebody, you, you wear a, something like a kneecap or a brace, knee brace, under your trousers, under your, under your clothes. I can see somebody's knee and I see like a kneecap or a brace under, under your clothes. So God wants to heal your knee. Who's that? Can you come back? Just come, 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 come. Come on, people. Whoa! Yep. It's been how long you've been having the problem in the knee? Um. 
been, I think, February. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak to the knee, kneecaps, ligaments, tendons. Be healed. Pick your knee up. Pick the leg up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Do something that you couldn't do. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. If God showed you, God wants this, God won't heal you. That's why He showed it to me. Pick it up. Don't be afraid. Just do something that you couldn't do before. Pick your leg and walk. Just walk. Come on. Say, thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Pick your legs and walk. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Come on. Get ready. Get ready for a jog tomorrow morning. Go for a jogging tomorrow morning. You'll be surprised to see how beautifully you can run now. Every deaf spirit, leave! Receive the capacity to hear. Open up. In the name of Jesus. He was deaf from birth in both the ears. He was deaf from birth in both the ears. Look at this. Look at this. Hi. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Papa. 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 Hallelujah. Huh? He can hear. He can hear. He can hear. He is here. We couldn't hear in both the ears. He was. He couldn't in both the ears. And today the Father opened the ears. Come on, people, give the Father the glory. Look at the smile on his face. You go back. You're healed by the Lord. Experience the glory of your goodness. Be healed. Oh, Lord. Lift up. Yes. Yes. Lift up. Another one. Yes. Walk now. Come on. By your presence. Come on. Come on. Walk. Come on, walk. <clears throat> walk in the name of Jesus. <laughs> take it, take it, take this. Throw it. Throw it. <laughs> Look at her, people. Come on. <laughs> How long she had this problem? How long? It's, I have. Uh, we're supposed to get knee replacements. Wow. And they just keep going back and not giving them to me. So I got osteoarthritis. It's been how long? Seven years. Seven yeah. years. Wow. Come on, pick your legs now. Look at that. <laughs> Your smile tells the story. <laughs> Look at the way you're running! I struggle with homosexuality mm -hmm. and I want to be free from that. Yep, absolutely. I take authority over the foul spirit of homosexuality. I command the unclean spirit. Lose this young man! <coughs> Lose this young man! Devil, let's speak to you now. Your authority over the young man is broken. I take charge. Haha! <laughs> I take charge. 
and I speak to you, devil, lose him now. When I say, by the time I count three, he's freed. One, two, three, free. <laughs>